What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Pace Studio here in Midtown Manhattan, New York City. Uh, we are broadcasting to you live from the Manhattan Center here on 34th Street, as always. And we are joined right now by uh, some very special guests. This is S. Carey. What's hey, going how's on? Going? How's it going, man? It's going good. Yeah, Thanks welcome to the us. city. It's a, it's a rainy, shitty day, but it is <laughs> it is opening day, so there is some light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, hey, I didn't know that. Cool. Yeah, yeah, you know, I don't know if anyone cares but me, but, um, People you know, it's a sign of spring. Um, so you guys, uh, there's a new album uh, that, that came out in February. It's called 100 Acres. It's really a gorgeous album. Thank you. Um, and we're really excited to hear some new songs uh, from that record, three of them today. Uh, so let's start it off with a song before we talk about the record. Um, what's, what are we going to start off with today? We're going to play a song called True North. All right.
Thank you. Thanks so much. Guys, thank you. Um, so, you know, I've been listening to this record, and uh, this is the first S. Cowry record uh, in about four years uh, since, um, since Range of Light. And as I was listening to it, you know, you've always been a fairly minimal composer, uh, but there seemed to be on this record, I don't know, a different kind of minimalism, something a little even bit more laid back, free-flowing, a little bit more space between chords and words. Is that something that you were kind of looking to do? Yeah, the the minimalism uh, kind of turned to uh, simplicity in like a folk song yeah. uh, type way. So I just, yeah, the, f the first song that came out of me was a song called Fool's Gold. And uh, after that was written, I kind of wanted to stay in that aesthetic and just like focus on the song and make sure the song was really good and then... Uh, everything else sort of fell in place. Yeah, yeah. I was reading, there was a, a phrase I saw somewhere along the line in reading about the album that was like the, it was, you mentioned, or someone mentioned the utopia of simplicity. Yeah. And it seemed like that was the idea, not just in the music, but kind of in the, in the lyrical, uh, the lyrical takes in the songs, that one included. Um, yeah, totally. A certain kind of just live and let live or let life happen kind of thing. Do the does the do the music and the and the words kind of work as a piece for you as you're writing? Do they sort of inform one another? Um, I guess so. I don't really think about it, but I think they must. You know, I yeah. Think that's that's what a good song is. So. And and do these songs have a certain kind of through line to them in your in your mind as far as like thematic you know storytelling? There's a few. Yeah, there's a few different themes that that seem to pop up. Um, and again, it's like you don't really know until you finish, and then you look, you step back, and you look at it, and you're like, "Oh, okay, that's what was going on." Yeah, is that when you name it at that point? For me, yeah, 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 yeah that's cool. Um, so we're gonna do, uh, we're doing three today from uh, Hundred Acres, which is the the new record from S. Carey. Um, so a couple more. Tell me a little bit about the second one. Uh, we're gonna play a song called <laughs> Yellowstone, uh, which is sort of. Uh, I guess kind of about a, a dream, um, uh, you know, like I've been married almost 10 years and uh, like any relationship, it has ups and downs. And uh, in one of those downs, I sort of just like had this dream of just like, what if we could just get in the car and drive out west? Um, and uh, Yellowstone came to mind. and. Um, just how a road trip could sort of fix fix something that was sort of going awry. And uh, definitely there's some truth in there. There's some made-up stuff. But, uh, you know, I think I like that idea a lot. Yeah. Cool. So this is Yellowstone. <laughs> I dreamt that we had packed the car and ended up in Yellowstone. And I, I, I want to see the fall undress under the willow tree. And time, and time will tell all of what you need. Saves the kind of word that makes love grow old and die. I knelt, I wept, the grass was burnt caramel and the well went dry. And we should lose 
our way before we lose our minds, lose our minds. And I, I want to see you full undress under the willow tree. Tell all of what you need to know for me I say we leave it sun up Meet me where the map is I want you ready Thank you guys. Uh, so, you know, the other thing I was I was thinking about when I was uh, reading up on the record and, and how it was made, besides uh, listening to it, I know that uh, you know you are born and raised in Wisconsin. You make your music there. Yep. And uh, and this one is no exception. And one thing I'm always curious about with artists who create in uh, regions that have such wide like weather range mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. is like you know if you're writing a song you know you're so you're like in rural wisconsin if you are writing a song in july versus writing a song in february you could make like two wildly different records yeah you know does that like does that have a you know a role as someone who who makes music in wisconsin i mean the this record definitely has all four seasons <laughs> um yeah uh, so yeah, I mean, I think it does. And some, some records definitely have a certain season, like it, whether you write it then or even just records that you love to listen to. And maybe you first heard it in the winter and then it's like, that's a winter album. It yeah. starts snowing. I start listening to it. Um, but this one, yeah, it's, it's kind of, I think, I don't know. It, it, it does the whole things. And I think, uh, the the subject matter matter and the songs are are wide enough that it um, it makes a circle. Yeah, yeah. Do you find that you know? I mean, I was I was I was thinking like you know, there's a certain element of your records and this one definitely I thought that has a certain connection to nature. You know, mm -hmm. cycles of of seasons and kind of you know emotions as they as they go with those. Does that sort of play a role in in these songs coming out? Yeah, I mean, it's it's always a, a source of inspiration for me. Um, that's sort of my my church is to get outside and, and go fly fishing or go hiking or whatever. So that's where I go to to I don't know relax and and think about things. And so sometimes when I'm out there, I'll even write lyrics out there or just yeah. kind of use that um, experience, that imagery um, in the songs. Do you find there's like do you, do you you know have wellsprings of inspiration based on like where you are not so much where you are but like the times of year do you do you go dry in January or like blossom in August you winter know? is usually a good time to write because there's not much else to do <laughs> so uh, yeah there's I don't know I think it depends it, it's not based on season but it definitely you know writing's either coming or it's non-existent so yeah yeah cool um so uh we're here with s carrie and the new uh album is called 100 acres uh we've heard two songs so far we're gonna do one more tell me a little bit about this last one uh we're gonna play a song called rose petals um and this song 
um, I had the opportunity to write it for this uh, Netflix show called Flaked. And um, they, uh, they had a specific scene. They wanted a song. And I, this song just came out one night, recorded it in my basement, and sent it off to them. And they, they loved it. So. Yeah. I mean, does that, not to, like, delay the process, but does that, I mean, is that something that you have done much? Like, where you were writing to a specific, someone else's idea? No, no, I haven't done it a lot, um, but I connected with the the characters. I, you know, I kind of I like sad music. I like um, sad things, and some of that sadness <laughs> creeps into the songs. Yeah, uh, and this this character was just sort of down and out, um, not in a good place, and so the the lyrics just came naturally, I guess. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Happy to be here, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is Rose Petals. By the way, this is Zach and, and Sophie with me. Today. Thanks for doing this. Okay. Guys, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so everybody, this is S. Carey. Uh, and the new record is called 100 Acres. Came out on February 23rd. Uh, so it's been a little bit, and these guys are on tour. Um, there are dates to be found at scarry.org. There's a show tonight in Brooklyn at Rough Trade. Yep. 
uh, which is a great, great venue uh, in the outer boroughs. And then um, dates to come down the East Coast, I think I saw? Or we've I got, uh, well, we're on East Coast now, so we've got about a week and a half left. And then uh, West Coast in July and Europe in September. Awesome. Uh, so check back to scarry.org for that and all kinds of other info and music. Uh, the Yellowstone video is there to be seen yep. on the website, so go check that out. Um, guys, thank you so much thank for you. coming to Paste and playing in our log cabin for us today. I'm and glad you're uh, the cabin. Yeah, I imagine you uh, you hopefully feel a little natural yeah, in, a, yeah, yeah. In, a, in a cabin. Nice. Uh, we have some some trout waiting outside for you. <laughs> um, so yeah, come on back and play for us again anytime. All right. Will do. All right. Thanks, guys.